Blue Baba Zeria. What I like about you is that you're a family woman, but when I came here, I felt like you have a second family. I do. I feel like I'm in your other family. Tell me about it. Like, how do you work it? Like, when you go home, you have your four kids, and when you come here, there's the other Blue Bob. Very true. Um, you know, I spend more time at work than I do at home. So the people that I work with is truly my second family. They're amazing and um, there's a certain culture, there's a certain attitude that we have, there's a certain way that we work here. When I come home, it's very different. You know, I'm a mom, which is, I'm not telling anybody what to do anymore. You know, I have to take that hat off and I have to be with the six kids. You know, six kids? Six, there's six children all together. Okay. I have there's a three with Max from his first marriage, who are much older. Mm -hmm. Two of them live still with us, and three younger kids. Okay. And uh, when you come here, like, who decides? Max decides, you decide, or you just look and you, um, you let things go with the flow? Well, you know what? Um, I think one of the things that's important is the way Max and I work. Max is very global and I'm detailed oriented. So Max sets the vision and I roll up my sleeves and try to execute that vision or actually do execute the vision. So it's a collaboration, you know, I don't question his decisions. I, I believe that what he does is the right for the company and hopefully he doesn't question my decisions, what I feel the heart of the company should be like. Uh, when did you start working with Max? Because Max has been working for a long time. When did he bought you in the company? Uh, 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, I met him at a job interview. Oh, really? Yeah, that's how we met. <laughs> I came for a job interview as a designer and he hired me and that's how we started. And what, how did it uh, evolve uh, in 20 years? You must be proud of what you made the company become but we are very proud I just don't see it you know it's very interesting because it's not I mean I see my stores I see you know I see a lot of things and but you, you, you we're working in the future all the time I mean we're like nine months you know 12 months ahead of you know everything that's going on and we're we're really um, it's, a, it's a very different thing I have to say that I'm blessed to do what I love that's all I have to say you know but I don't you know and I'm glad that I'm very happy that people like it I love seeing women in my clothes it always makes me smile you know um, but in terms of like thinking that we're this and this I, you know. do you think of the competition competition um, my darling. I don't really think, you know, when we first started there was a lot of competition. Now it's kind of all dead. <laughs> yeah. um, you killed the competition. <laughs> we didn't kill the competition, but I think that if the company doesn't have a strong designer who's actually invested in the company, if designers keep on leaving, then the vision keeps on changing. I think that's what's happening to a lot of firms. I think with BCBG, you know, Max and I are like a tree. We just we're grounded here, you know, and so uh, the vision's always consistent, the eye's always consistent, and if you look at the history, if you look at now, all the successful companies, it's the one that had the designers. That's why when my sales, um, my wholesale tells me, oh, this person is now competing, they're taking your space, I'm like, all right. Oh, you don't, uh, you don't look at the competition. It's not that I don't look at, I'm not ignorant. Who is your competition? Well, I think it, it's wherever you are, it's whoever's next to you, do you know what I'm saying? I mean, in some places it might be, I don't know, uh, who am I next to? Um, I have no idea right now, I'm blanking out. But whoever is next to us, like next and the customer happens to go into it, into the store and buy their product and back to our store. So, you know, but the thing is that we have a niche, you know, we dress women um, who like being dressed up. You know, we're a dressed up company, we're not dressed down. So when you're talking about you know, competition, you need somebody who makes evening wear, you need somebody who's in our price point, you need somebody who um, you know, always changes and delivers 200 new styles every month. I mean, you really, I mean, we have a formula of our own, we have our own way of thinking, you know, so I don't know, there's gonna be always somebody lower priced, there's always gonna be somebody higher priced, there's always gonna be somebody better somebody not you know the thing is I want to do is I'm not really in 
interested in being um, trendy and being on trend and being hot. I'm interested in being relevant to the woman that wears my, my clothes. I think if she feels like it's a good investment, she's going to buy it. You know, because at the end of the day, you know, I have all the clothes I will ever need for the rest of my life. So when it comes to designing, I really design for her. You just showed a new collection today. You've been working on this for maybe like six months mm -hmm. or a year. We expected you to go back home after and said done, mm -hmm. and you're working. You're still working. You're at it. What are you doing after? Like, what is there to do? Well, there's another two shows. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and Max Azar is, you know, again, very personal line to me because um, it's, it's your baby. Yeah? It's, it's my baby, and I am. This is one of the things that the biggest mystery to me because I think anybody who works at BCBG, it's probably their favorite line, and it's the one that doesn't perform. It is the one that is, I know, you know, everybody who buys it are basically mostly employees because we all appreciate the aesthetics, the beauty of it, and, you know, it's we only make 100 pieces. So it's really a line that's very personal to me, and hopefully one day it'll take off, you know. And uh, last question, you live in L.A., you show your stuff everywhere around the world, but you, you, sh you show it in uh, New York. When you design, do you think of the LA woman? Do you think of the New York woman? Do you think of, oh, that would work in Canada? How do you? I think of a working woman anywhere. You know, yeah. I, don't, I really don't feel that we have seasons anymore. Okay. I really don't. You know, I like a woman feel looking beautiful. You know, and what that beauty represents to me is what BCBG. You know, nothing, not, there's not one piece that leaves our office that is not touched by me. I fit every single, I mean, both of the dresses that you ladies are wearing, I mean, everything, every single thing, every thread, I choose. Do your kids want to follow their uh, parents? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no. No? No. I said my kids don't even like shopping. No? I have to drag them to get something. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. Where do you shop? Oh, my God. And great places. I shop, I mean, my favorite shop is probably Comme des Garçons in Japan. Uh, love Junior Watanabe. Um, I also like uh, Martin Margiela. I think those are kind of my, and I support little, I support designers, you know, like I love Dries Van Noten, I don't buy the whole thing, but I'll buy a particular piece from him. I support young designers as well, you know, but I'm not such a big shopper. I'm more of, um, you know, I like, um, I think designers are like um, treasure, you know, we're like pirates. We like treasure hunting. You know, it's the whole thing of finding piece that is so unique and then you recreate into something else. You know? Well, uh, thank you for thank opening you. that treasure and showing us a beautiful collection. You're so welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>